that better. Uh, I guess. Okay. Hey y'all. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning. Okay. So it is nine ten on my Saturday off. And I actually have a pretty full Saturday. So let's get into it. Got a lot of housework to do. Got a lot of housework to do. Every room needs to be vacuumed, um, swept, vacuumed. All the floors need to be cleaned. And I am actually steam cleaning, carpet cleaning with the machine today. And y'all know why. So I ain't going to. We ain't gonna go why. Mm. Oh, what am I drinking? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, girl. Boy, yeah, y'all. I have a problem when it's something that really tastes good to me and I try it, I run out on it for a minute. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I run out. I'm, I'm, I go. I go and I go and I'm nonstop. And testaments to that is my margaritas, my Rita's, that Bud Light Rita, or is it Budweiser Rita, whatever. You know I run out on those. I've been drinking those all summer long. So needless to say, and these are five dollars. <laughs> what do people want me to do? <laughs> you know, this is a five dollar bottle of California root sangria coming out of the great state of California with a twist top. You know, um, it's 11%. It just has a fine taste to it. So, you know, I put some fruit in it. Just put some little fruit because it's morning. You know, I got to have you a little smoothie. Mm. So I didn't smooth it out, but you know, I put in a little mason jar. Mm-hmm. Got all the fruits in here, frozen fruits I could find. You know, my strawberries, my blackberries, my pineapple. Hell, I didn't think there's a peach in here, y'all. Um, so good. So good. And I don't even taste the fruit. So I'm not even gonna say I sit up here and taste the fruit. This is more for aesthetic things right now. I mean, they're ice cubes in there. <laughs> they're working more like ice cubes than anything. Mm. Mm. Uh oh, I've got something stuck in my straw. Mm. If you have not tried this, go out and get you one. I mean, it's five dollars. If you like wine, and y'all know I don't, I'm not a real fan of the sweet, sweet wine, and like red wine and that sweet reds. I don't like none of those. So, but there's something about this because this is sweet, but it also has a tart to it. So it's a sweet tart but neither one of them overpowering if they just balance each other out very nicely mm. very nice and um i actually had this with some steak and pasta last night really good really good um too good because i was only supposed to eat half of my ribeye you know girl need to watch her blood pressure and i end up eating that whole ribeye which you know when you cook it you know i cooked it so it was whew, so it was delicious and then it, the wine complimented it it was just everything was everything last night it was just so good it's so good so if you ain't got this go get this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay okay so let me stop and let me start so this is a plant um this is a plant with me video so i'm gonna show you some plants that did not make it real quick oh wait y'all i was just about to unpot this i really was i was just about to unpot it and now i need to go grab some water and water it you see that got some new growth coming out of the side i haven't been paying any attention to it because i lost all the leaves when this was done from over, over fertilizing it and so what i did was right here below those gnomes I, I did a little slice uh along these gnomes here I don't, know if you can, I don't think you can see it and just trying to 
I don't know if this is picking up on camera. I think you can see it. Trying to encourage it to spit some new growth out. And I honestly didn't think this would work. I honestly didn't. But I was wrong. So we will not be unpotting this today. I do have some water that it does need to get watered. It's very, very far away. So yay, the avocado plant is coming back. See what happens when you just leave the damn plant alone? I just left it alone. I don't even know where I had it sitting in the house. That's how much alone I've left it. Okay, so we're not going to be doing that one. So, next up. Oh, well, not this one. Next up, we have this plant. This was my silver fern. And y'all, I'm just being perfectly honest. I don't know what happened. I think... This has died from neglect. And this sometimes happens when you have a lot of plants and you're not paying attention. This plant, I introduced it on a video and I don't think I watered it since. And then again, I found it this morning. It was behind my prayer plant, my lime green player, prayer plant, Maranta. And I was like, oh, I need to water it. And I picked it up and I, and I it's too late. So, I mean, I'm disappointed with it. But, yeah, it's completely dry. Yeah. If you want to know what that one died of, it died of thirst. <laughs> this was one thirsty plant. And I'm not too upset about it. And I think that's because of the sangria. Mm. So, damn. But this is still a nice pot, so from that pot, okay, I, I wasn't, I was not going to repot this, but because I kill this fern all the time, this is a particular bird nest fern, and this is, this particular bird nest fern is the one that I kill. This will be my third or fourth plant of this type. I do have another bird nest one, um, bird nest fern, but it's, it's doing okay. I just got to remember to water it, but it's doing, it's doing much, much better than what this one is. And see, this one's not even off to a good start. All right, because I'm seeing gnats, which is common, but there's not a lot of roots. Not a lot of roots, so... Probably should leave it in here. But I actually kind of want to downsize it. And this pot is actually smaller than this one. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and plant it in here. to this one I will not be adding any perlite or anything to it um, because that um, is for good drainage even with the coconut husk I think it will drain okay but I want it to hold a little bit more moisture than what it normally will get and I'm just going to sprinkle in because I'm not going to fertilize this um, I am just going to use some earthworm castings and I use earthworm castings on almost all of them because I forget to fertilize my plants all the time and if they have earthworm castings in it well then it don't matter now I have some plants but whatever so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in to help it <sighs> so y'all mm, mm, mm. trying to think what's going on I'm trying not to come over here and talk all negatively about Pepper because that's what I've been doing lately. And Pepper did not ask to be here. And I, I know it don't come across, but I love my dog. I love her so much. Um, I just need to, I, just, I knew this about myself. I knew that I didn't, I never wanted a puppy. And I knew that. But Ginger is such an aggressive dog. But y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all gonna think this is um, really strange. But I'm gonna put it out there. I mean, I love Pepper. 
I love Ginger. But I feel like there's a third dog coming to me. Like, I feel it spiritually for some reason. Like, you know, I always make jokes. You know, I got my pepper. I got my I got my ginger. And, you know, oregano's coming. I'm about to say, you know, about to give me a little oregano up in here. And that's my joke. Um, But this is going to sound crazy. And y'all can judge away, you know. But I was like walking them to the dog park today, and, and we have a little dog park in my neighborhood on my cul de sac. And I was just looking at Ginger, and I said, Ginger, Basil's coming. Basil is coming. Now I don't know what Basil is. Basil is obviously a dog, and that's going to be the. And, um, I think Basil is coming with that name. I tell you, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just have this feeling. Um, that Basil and Basil is a male dog. It's going to be a rescue dog. I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's crazy. I just had this overwhelming feeling and I'm just not going to ignore it. So I just got to figure out how this is going to work with Ginger because, you know, Ginger needs to get some training because I don't know. <laughs> Basil is coming and I don't know what Basil look like. I ain't got an image in my head. I just have this overwhelming feeling. So y'all please comment on it. I don't care what you think about it. You know, um, if you are a personal close friend of mine, this is, this is, it may or may not sound weird. I don't know, but I, n I never even thought about naming a dog with me and, and Brandon. We were discussing if we were to get a third dog with the names be, and cause, um, he was like, it's time to move away from the seasons. And I was like, nope, I want spices. We're going to name us. And he's like, you know, he's like, what are we going to name it? Salt. And he's like, and we're not doing oregano and all this other stuff. And we had talked about it a few, a few weeks ago, but we never mentioned a basil. Never even thought about it. The closest we got to was another, was Cheyenne. And I didn't really want Cheyenne because Cheyenne sounds, we already got a pepper. <laughs> so... But there's a basil coming, and basil is, I don't, I, it's weird. And I'm, I'm probably wrong, but I just thought I would share. So, here we go. What y'all think? Came out a little cute, right? Y'all know how I do the pat pat. Um, so, this one, I'm going to have to take my water meter to it because the soil was already damp when I came out and I like for this plant to stay in the moist range. I really, really have to try hard not to let it dry out. So, and I think that's the number one killer of this plant. I have completely allowed it to dry out too many times. And it's like, you know what? F you. You know what? I don't like to be completely dry. I don't like to dry out between what you need to keep me moist at all times moist so i don't know might have to just check and get it in my head like set a reminder check on your bird for your bird nest firm today please so but it's in this little container and i really like this container my philodendron did um uh, it was labeled as a philodendron split leaf philodendron, but it's actually a monstera. Um, can you see it? Yeah, it's back there in that blue container. And it started off in this little thing once I had, because I had to propagate it in water. I had to save it, you know. If you've watched the videos enough, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, that was a journey. So we're done with this one. Okay. So next up, I'm going to do this one. I actually love this container that it's in, but I don't think this container is the best container for my plant. I just don't think it's doing really well. Um, I have another, I took a clipping from this plant and I, you can't see it off camera, so I'm gonna have to put a cutaway in it. But if you look at it, you will see that this plant is just thriving in here and I propagated this and it's in this container with a whole bunch of other um, vining plants and it's doing well and it's not doing so well over here. It's becoming vining, but every time I put more plants in, 
more cuttings inside here, they seem to die off and they struggle. So I just don't think this is a good container for it. So I'm gonna downsize the container um, into something really, really small that will just fit in here. And I thought I had. know you had this stuff and then all of a sudden now you need it you can't find it and look there's my dad gonna shove it all the way over there oh and my vape is in here mm, mm, mm. okay so using my hands so long ah oh, they're very long oh yeah oh they reached the bottom damn it <laughs> oh yeah you know how you just don't want to break a root um this monstera swiss cheese i can't think of the name uh, i end up tearing the roots yeah, 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 yeah. And it did look like it needed a little water, but those roots reached all the way to the bottom. And so, yeah, that explains a lot. That's why the plant didn't do so well. Because, you know, it's very narrow. You can't see. Uh, but just a very narrow. So it just, the roots went straight down, and I guess it was just, I'm glad I saw that. Oh. You're like, what are you going to do? Well, I really like this container too. I always thought it would look so cute coming out of here. So, what we're going to do is. because I don't think there's anything wrong with it but feel free to tell me I'm wrong because it's my time. All right so I'm just gonna reuse the soil a little bit of it anyway and gonna and you can see this was cutting. Oh, and I have not done ugh, so much stuff to do today. I have to upload. I've already filmed it. I just need to upload it. My um, plant tip video. Which, those are more harder to make than these videos. Because I think the reason why is because those, I, this is going to sound silly, but that 15 minute video or less requires a lot more work work this what i'm talking to you guys about right now this is just off the cuff this is just you know i'm just telling you what's going on in my head and you know you have a good laugh at it y'all think y'all don't think i should do this hmm. but truth be told be told I have just I have to with the other one I have to 
like, look, let me do some research. <laughs> let me back this up. Think about my experience. I want to make sure I'm telling you guys stuff that makes sense and more logical. Because, and, it's, and it's because, you know, I, I, y'all going to criticize me if I don't. And it's, well, you should, too. Don't be out letting somebody sit up here and put information out that you know is false just because they're lazy. So I do apologize for not having those videos up because they got a great response from them. Uh, I just didn't realize when I started making them that they were going to be so much work. And this video, this stuff has to get done right now. Like, I do need to repot my plants. Um, it is Saturday, and this is one of two days off, and um, t I do have plans, so I'm trying to squeeze this in. And, and my plans, is, I know it sounds silly, my plans are actually to clean my house, but when you work all week long, and yeah, you, you'll tidy up, but I want to clean. Like, I want to hit all the bathrooms, I want to hit all the carpets, you know, and, and um, most of the carpet is on the stairs, so. And, I, and, I, and I'm telling y'all, I, I, if I had the money, I would never vacuum again. I would never vacuum and I would never do laundry again. I'm over those tasks. I am completely over it. And um, I, I have a, a carpet cleaner, those steam cleaners, and because I have one of those, my man is just like, why can't we just use this? So he is using the steam cleaner today. I will do all the vacuuming, but I'm telling y'all right now, I am budgeting for a housekeeper. I am. I don't care what no one say. And it's not, it's not because I don't know how to clean. It's not because I'm balling the money because I'm not. It's because I'm sick of it. I am so sick of it. And I feel like no reason to be miserable. If you're willing to have a bill for something, then have the damn bill. If you can pay it, if you can afford to have this bill, and I just need the maid or housekeeper, because I don't know the political correct term, to come in twice a week. And it's not happening right now, because I already know my man gonna fight me on it. But here's the thing, he don't clean. So, you know, he don't clean. I need somebody, and I only wanted to come in here and do two things. I, I need you to clean these, these floors, sweep them, mop them, vacuum them, every floor in the house, and I need you to do the damn laundry because I'm sick of it. Sick of it. So sick of laundry. I cannot stand it. And I've been sick of laundry long before I've been sick of vacuuming. Me clean the reason why I'm sick of vacuuming. I'll be telling you the truth, it's because of Pepper. She's just here, and I'm just like, I'm doing a lot of cleaning carpet up, and I've noticed that. Then, but laundry is a chore that just don't end, and I'm sick of it. And I'm just like, I just need someone to come in twice a week. You want to vacuum twice a week, and um, that's probably not even enough. But I'm what can I afford? And you're gonna do laundry twice a week, and and when I, I mean, like, I don't even need you, to, and what I'm sick about laundry is I don't need you to physically wash my clothes. I don't need you to physically dry my clothes. I need you to hang them up. I need you to fold them, put them away, hang them up, and then come back in four days from now and do it again. Because that's what I'm sick of. That's what I'm sick of. I'm sick of putting clothes away. And that's what I would hire a maid for, y'all. That's what I would hire a maid for. I would not hire a maid to come up in here and um, be like, hey, you know, can you clean up? Can you dust? Can you do? No, I don't care. No, I can do all of that. That shit don't bother me. And I know you think a damn, so you're not, you would actually bring somebody, a maid, in just to come into your house to fold up laundry, not dry it. Now, now put it in the washing machine. Not hang it out for spring mountain freshness. No, I need you to fold it up. I mean, like, boom, here it is. Boom, it's all on this chair here. Here, there in the closet. This side of the closet is my husband. This side of the closet is mine. I need you to hang this shit up because I'm sick of doing it. It never ends. It never ends. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't put my clean clothes up right now. Judge away. Judge away. The clothes are there is, and I ain't gonna show you on camera, so ain't gonna be no cutaway. Just believe me when I say there is a mountain of clean clothes. I have a, a this is a cozy Q 
care if it's two. It's on a I have one of these up in my master bedroom too. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can tell how large it is. It's a decent size, right? Right. It's a decent size. I don't know if you can see it. Fits two people. Decent. Mountain of clean laundry on it. Mountain. Mountain. I don't buy clothes anymore. Like, I really, really, really try not to buy clothes unless they are work needed clothes because I'm so sick of laundry. All right. There's my bitch. There's my vent. Thank you so much for listening. Mm. I apologize. Woo. I'm probably the only one out here feeling this way, but oh, it's just on my nerves. But anyway, so I repotted this in a nursery pot and I placed the um, nursery pot inside. And the roots are really, really heavy here. And so, but I didn't upside it. I didn't upside it because um, I did this. Is, this is one of these plants that I um, that benefits from that I think can handle being a little root bound. And so, so we're just gonna see if it doesn't flourish. If it looks like it's just not gonna survive, then I will go ahead and up up it into a bigger pot. So that's that one. Okay. So next up. I was going to do this one, and, and this is the name. I always forget. It's a purple passion, purple vine. I love this plant. And um, it's the velvety leaves. I, purple is my favorite color. It's just so beautiful. And this plant, is, I wouldn't say it's, a, it's an easy plant. I will say it's an easy plant. But um, it doesn't thrive so well. Like, I had to let this I ain't even going to say it's easy. I had to figure to leave this plant alone. Uh-oh. Look what I just found. Couple. Oh. Okay. Found a couple of clippings, and I'm just going to shove them in here real quick. Oh, I should go get my watering. Let me just water this in. I'm convinced, Roots, you will find your way. You will find your way. Just found some clippings that were, must have fell. Oh, did I just snatch that? It has one long vining. Anyway, so I was like, I'm not going to unpot it. I'm not going to um, transplant it. I'm going to leave it where it is. It does need to be watered. But I know we all watch Plant Arena. And Plant Arena is this wonderful. I don't need to tell you who Plant Arena is. But I was thinking about, she just did a video and such. And this has inspired me to do this about... Um, staking certain type of vining plants and i was thinking about staking this one but honestly um i think i'm gonna let it vine a little bit more and i need to figure out how to propagate this because because it does have oh, it's like carpet it's like velvet so guys look how beautiful this is do you see that i'm i just stopped in this sentence just to appreciate the beauty this is why I buy plants. This is why it's like I love having nature in my home right now. Oh, such a beautiful plant. So I'm going to leave it alone. So since I'm leaving that one alone, uh, let me get my pothos. This is my um, queen pothos. And let me put it down so you can see it. She's pretty healthy. You know, she's. She just has recently been transplanted into this pot. We, I had her in a um, more like a, a flower bed, and she did well there, but she is actually flourishing here. Um, she has a few leaves that are really big, or really big to me. And I watched Plant Arena um, talk about reasons why you should stake your 
your plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stake this one. I did stake another plant and I'm gonna tell you about it now. Um, I want to see how it does. But I, I did film the whole process. You will not see that video for a while. Um, probably, I wanna see how it does. And even if it's a failure, I'll come back and I'll tell you that. But I did stake another plant today. Um, because of this plant arena and this is totally inspired by her. I actually picked up I'm so cheap But this is more thrifty than cheap I actually was out with the dolls at the dog park and we have some fallen. We've had some house storm thunderstorms here Seriously, like our thunderstorms sh should be broadcast on national news. That's how I, I don't know why we don't get coverage <laughs> because the thunderstorms will put I sometimes welcome our, a, <laughs> this is gonna sound mean but I will welcome a uh, category one hurricane um, over some of these um, thunderstorms we've had they've just been incredible but we've had some falling branches down and I have actually picked up some so I have this one here and I picked up a, a much larger one and just to give you an idea I can actually use that as a walking stick which by the way FYI I did use it as a walking stick to come up my stairs because I've been having some knee pains and the doctor said there's nothing wrong with my knee I want to see a specialist now but whoo using that branch that I had to walk up my stairs oh, for the first time in a long time there was no knee pain so I'm gonna go out and find me a walking stick I don't care <laughs> That's, there was no pain but okay so to this I'm going to stake and it's just a little steak and, I, and remember this was intended for this one um, but I want that to get, I want it to be viney. I really like the vines. So, um, I don't know how this is going to work because this probably needs to be a little bit bigger. But this is what I have. And you guys can't see it. This is probably not going to work because it's not tall enough. I probably will have to do a smaller and then just get a bigger stake for this one. I'm just gonna take the existing vine. Yeah, totally not gonna work. Okay, y'all, that's what we call an epic fail. That is not gonna work, so. So, but I do have another pothos that I can use this on, and I will, just have to, next time I'm out and I find some more fallen branches, I'll just have to get a longer one. I guess I could just do it with my Monstera. I'll just do it with this one. One thing about coconut husk, it weighs nothing <laughs> until it's wet. So I'm just gonna throw some. just going to take the longest vine I guess and I'm just going to wrap it and I probably need to tie it and String nearby, I do. Okay, I 
guess I have to do this with uh, making sure the air roots or nobs are facing the branch. So this is so cool to get this branch because I'm like, oh, nature, clinging to nature. And this is totally inspired by the Plant Arena's latest video. Um, I forget the name of it. <laughs> but it was like, it's one, of course it's a propagating video because she loves talking, um, propagating. But um, this one was also about propagating and how to stake your vining plants. So your pothos, um, philodendrons, and one more that um, I cannot remember. So this is totally inspired by her, and I'm t and I'm entirely grateful for it because I, when I saw that, I was like, "Girl, go ahead and do that." So and I'm just throwing this one in my plant with me. So you guys are planting with me right now as I tie. And this is just, I'm just using yarn. In her video, um, she used all different kinds of things, but she never used yarn. One of the things she used was um, jute, jute rope. And I have yarn and I'm just like, I'm not going to run out and buy something, even if I can get it from the Dollar Tree. And we could just do that. So... So this is what I've come up with. <laughs> it, it, it looks like I need more um, tree, <laughs> another stick to put it on. And I, I, I do, but I don't have one and I'm lazy, but I will get a, um, find something to cling this on. So that's the plant with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I This is meant, this has been fun. Um, I'm going to go on with my day. It is Saturday. I will upload this video tomorrow um, to Sunday. So plant with me continue. And I will also really, really try hard to make sure I put up my seven day plant talk or my 30 day plant talk. So, but for now, hey guys, boom. See you later. See you later. Bye.